بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم When we go to weddings today in fact I've stopped going to most weddings because we're occupied with so many other things subhanallah and sometimes it's embarrassing because we, you would enter there and it looks more like a nightclub may Allah forgive us I promise you and you wonder this is a celebration of half of your deen and it's a celebration of the taqdeer that Allah's written for you and it's an act of worship and it's actually the destiny that Allah's written for you and your children to come and you're starting off as though you're in a place that's just free for all and everyone can do everything and anything and so much of haram is happening at your wedding is that okay is that fine is that okay is that really going to bring about happiness between you and your spouse let's be honest you could have if you were a, a person who had a weakness you could have in, engaged in that weakness perhaps in a way that showed that you were ashamed of participating in that because it's a sin may allah forgive us and strengthen us but you didn't have to keep it such a day. Allah gave you happiness. Allah gave you a spouse. Allah gave you the father or mother of your children. Allah gave you a day to celebrate. Allah gave you happiness and everyone is happy besides Allah. Everyone is happy besides Allah. And who is the owner of your ultimate happiness? Allah. And this is the reason why many marriages don't last because the wedding was absolutely in transgression of Allah. The, way, the marriage didn't last. The wedding was the talk of the town. And they are still talking about the wedding, not realizing that you're already having problems. Because your aim was not to please Allah. It was actually to displease Allah. I promise you, I'm not going to mince my words. Your aim, whether you knew it or not, or whether you thought of it or not, is another factor. But your aim on the day of your marriage was to displease Allah. What type of happiness would you like to have? You can enjoy, you can really enjoy, have a happy day, have a beautiful wedding, have a lovely party, but let it be within what Allah has taught. It's not difficult. Two or three small things need to be adjusted. Learn to become pleased at things that would please Allah and you will definitely be happy within your home. So I hope and I pray those who are young up here, just put up your hand if you're not yet married. Put up your hand high if you're not yet married. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Okay, may Allah make it easy for you. May Allah guide us. I hope what I've said has motivated all of us that the day we get married, we would actually try and look at the pleasure of Allah. We would try and make Allah happy. Look, I'm telling you a fact. We displease Allah on that day. And that's wrong. Now, as for the rest of us whose hands were down, I presume we're already married, subhanAllah. If you made mistakes, no stress. قُلْ لِيَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Allah says, Oh my worshippers who have transgressed against themselves, let them know let them know Allah is most forgiving, most merciful. He will forgive all your shortcomings, your mistakes, your sins, all of that he will wipe out. For indeed, he is most forgiving, most merciful. May Allah forgive us for the mistakes we made in the past. May Allah forgive us for the way we did our weddings. It's a reality. You seek Allah's forgiveness and you know what? Allah will grant you the happiness you're searching for because for him, he will wipe out the sin, gone. Deleted completely, gone, forgotten, and wiped out. And your life starts afresh. So it's not like you're doomed forever. None of us is doomed forever. We are still breathing. We just need to turn to Allah. And Allah will open our doors in a unique way. Allah will still grant you happiness. And then Allah says, Remember me. And I will remember you and be grateful and don't show ingratitude. Don't be ungrateful. Subhanallah. So if you want Allah to touch your life, you need to remember Allah. 